went through there. I think there was many actors um, from uh, the local soap opera, Coronation Street, had been through there. But it's been there for something like 128 years, standing in that community. Uh, and now it's lost. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much. And obviously the determination to get the new theatre, you've made that really clear. Um, and, and you've extolled the virtues of it as well. And um, thank you so much for um, talking to us on Breakfast. Yes, Chris cool. Eccleston there. Thanks very much, Sarah. Thanks for having We're me. We're saying some amazing people like Sarah Lancashire, Bernard Cribbin, Saran Jones, Julie hesmond Helge. Bill Roach, lots of household names. Um, lots coming up in the programme. You have heard of Bobby's on the Beat, but what about Cops on the Court? Well, this is PC Kip, who's a constable with the Metropolitan Look Police and uses very impressive basketball skills to engage with young people in South London. More on that around 9.25. Back shortly. Hide the blacksmith's boy you were. Beneath the gentleman you will become. My intention is not to fall in love. Love is not always the result of intention. I am ready to throw the boy to the wild beasts of this city. Great Expectations continues tomorrow at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Naga Munchetti and Roger Johnson. Our headlines today. Water companies could face unlimited fines for polluting rivers and the sea. The money raised would be used for environmental projects. A critical incident has been declared in Dover as passengers are delayed for hours at the start of the Easter getaway. Millions of households will face higher costs as increases in council tax, water and mobile phone bills kick in. But there will also be an increase in the minimum wage. Tornadoes in the United States have caused destruction and several deaths in Arkansas. Good morning in sport. The race to the finish in the Premier League starts in earnest in a few hours' time at lunchtime with no more interruptions now until the end of the season. And with Manchester City hosting Liverpool, trying to stop Arsenal galloping off over the horizon. Good morning. It's been the wettest March in over 40 years for parts of the UK, but thankfully the weekend is bringing us something drier and eventually something brighter too. I'll have all the details here on BBC Breakfast. Good morning. It's Saturday the 1st of April. Water companies which allow raw sewage to pollute UK seas and rivers could face unlimited fines. This under government plans which are expected to be announced next week. Yeah, ministers want to scrap the current £250,000 limit on civil penalties and make them easier to impose. Recent figures showed that sewage was spilled into England's waterways 300,000 times last year. Our political correspondent Leila Nathu has this report. Wild swimmers in West York.